dwelling in peace and safety and have all the nations. See, that's the part of the Bible prophecy buff. You'd be like, man, how's that going to work out? But as we're watching them today, most of the nations hate Israel. You know, the UN, United Nothing, is basically constantly passing resolution after resolution against the Jews and against Israel um, as sort of, you know, anti-humanitarian people and occupiers of lands. And we've gone over all that stuff and, and talked about how that's such a bunch of propaganda, really, largely. Um, but, but largely today, most nations really despise the Jews. And, uh, and we're seeing that today. So, you, so you're seeing that. And, um, not only that, but they need to also be vulnerable to an attack by Russia if we're going to see the end time scenario uh, kick in here. We're seeing all of these scenarios perfectly in place today. In fact, you know, for the biblical narrative of what's going to happen to Israel, Ezekiel 38 and 39, nothing really needs to change. That could happen tomorrow. Uh, and there wouldn't even have to be really much for military operational you know, movement to make that happen. Iran, Russia, and Turkey um, uh, are going to come along uh, and attack Israel. Now, by the way, th this is one thing that maybe doesn't fit with the biblical narrative right now, and I'll talk about that. Um, have you seen how Erdogan, the Sultan, he's called now Sultan Erdogan, uh, up in uh, Turkey, have you seen how he's trying to be nice to Israel right now? He was, he, he, you know, 20 years ago, Israel and Turkey were allies, but then remember the flotillas and those, they were sending weapons and stuff down to Gaza with these Turkish uh, ships and stuff, and Israel, uh, with their commandos, attacked the ships because they couldn't let these weapons get into Gaza because they were firing the rockets up into Jerusalem and Israel and Tel Aviv. So the Israelis stopped these ships, and it sort of made the relations between Turkey and Israel very tense. Um, 